My name is Kristen, and I'm a visitor assistant here at the McManus. The object I've chosen to highlight as my object of the month is the door beetle. Since I was a child, I've been fascinated by the natural world, and I've grown increasingly interested in the importance of insects and the vital role they play to our ecosystems. I've chosen the door beetle because I think the insects and their importance are often overlooked, and they're also my favorite little bug to happen across when I'm out on a walk. About 4,000 beetle species are found in the British Isles, of which about 2,600 occur in Scotland. Unfortunately, most of Scotland remains poorly surveyed, and knowledge of our beetle species is incomplete. Beetles belong to the order Coleoptera, meaning sheathed winged, which refers to their hardened forerings. There are eight UK species of door beetle, three of which are represented in our museum's collection. We have one minotaur beetle, or Typhaeus typhoeus, nine Anoplotrupes sterocarreras, and seven Geotrupes sterocarreus, both called door beetle. Being a dung beetle, the door beetle likes to eat animal dung from herbivores. The common door beetle in particular enjoys cow and horse dung and spends most of its time waiting around fields of these for dinner to drop. Males and females form excellent teams. Dung beetles mate in spring and then build tunnels and chambers into the ground. Male and female beetles even stay together to ensure that their young have a good start to life. The female beetle is mostly responsible for digging tunnels and preparing everything for the deposition of eggs, while the male moves the earth out of the burrow. In contrast to mammals, insects are not known for taking care of their offspring. Door beetles are among the few exceptions. More widely, beetles fulfill a range of roles in a healthy ecosystem. They are pollinators, and although we normally think of bees pollinating our flowers, beetles are in fact responsible for pollinating 88% of the world's plants. They are incredibly important in the chain that produces nuts, seeds, fruits, and vegetables. Certain beetles, such as the ladybird, are important predators and keep specific species of pests at bay. Unfortunately, simplification of our farmland and the use of pesticides has reduced the number of useful beetle predators in our fields. Today, strips of grass may be deliberately left undisturbed in fields as beetle banks in a bid to remedy this. Door beetles are an important food source and when other small mammals are unavailable, provide a tasty snack for foxes, tawny owls, and other predators. Insects are the only food for certain species of birds, fish, and amphibians. Since many higher order animals and birds rely upon lower ones for food, food chains would collapse without bugs. If our insects were to be destroyed, many other species would also be wiped out as a result. To encourage beetles and other insects in your garden, you can grow insect-friendly plants such as wildflowers, create a compost heap, make a bug hotel out of old logs and straw, and leave some leaf litter in garden borders. When you find an insect in your home, remember that the local ecosystem needs them not just to survive, but to thrive. Instead of killing them, you can easily catch and release them back into your garden or a green space. And remember to keep your eyes peeled for door beetles on your next walk in the forest or pasture. <laughs>